Welcome, welcome, welcome to Vanessa's Van Life Journey. I am Vanessa and I live in a van and her name is Treasure. Uh, when I get another van, I wonder what I'm going to name it. I wonder what I'm going to name my other van. When I get another van, what I'm going to name it. Y'all, come on in. Thumbs up the video. If you are my friend, I am hungry. And I got some food that I took out earlier that I need to warm up. I'm hungry and I'm thirsty. I need to get me some water. Hello, Nutty Buddy Nation. How are y'all doing today? Come on in, thumbs up the video if you my friend. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that y'all see I just posted something on the community post. If you haven't seen what I posted on the community post, go check it out and look at it right quick. And come back, girl, and tell me what you think. Girl, leave a comment on the community post and tell me what you think. I'm happy. I'm making progress, y'all. I'm telling y'all. Start looking for a vehicle before you're ready to purchase. So you can make an informed decision. Like I'm looking for a vehicle now. I'm looking for my op I'm looking at my options now. I don't have the money for a van right now. I mean, if I wanted to buy a vehicle right now, <sighs> mm, I think the vehicle that I buy when I get ready to buy another vehicle, I think it's going to cost more than $10,000. Uh, I think my budget for a van would be less than $25,000. Well, no. Maybe. Less than 25000 cash. Out the door, ready to go. That's what I would like. Nah. <laughs> I ain't got that money. <laughs> I ain't got $25,000 right now, y'all. But the Bible says, speak those things that be not as though they were. Like, I got 40000 subscribers if y'all give me a dollar a piece i could go buy a vehicle vehicle tomorrow <laughs> can i get y'all to give me one dollar each <laughs> oh send me a cash app at vanessa dollar sign v-a-n-e-s-s-a-t-a-l-k-s-h-o-w contribute to the van the van, the new van, y'all. On a serious note, y'all, I plan to either get a van uh, June, July, or December. I might wait till my birthday. I'm born on Christmas Day, so I might wait till December so y'all can give me some money for my birthday and for Christmas, and then I can use it toward my van. But anyway, y'all, uh, I would like to get something between 10 and 20 25,000 if i could find something between 10 and 25,000 i want something reliable i want something in good condition i want something that's been well maintained and uh so right now i'm doing my research girl i'm doing my research these vans out here at these dealerships that's used is costing an arm and a leg but i'm doing my research and i went somewhere today to look at another van and i seen something y'all i seen something 
I like it. I want it. But I know I probably don't have enough money for it right now. So that's why I'm doing my looking. I'm doing my looking and I'm 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 being informative. I'm informing myself of what I need because uh and then if I could get a buyer for this van, if I can get a buyer for this van, if somebody want to take this van off of me and you can you can email me and make me an offer. Make me an offer. I'll take an offer. What you think is this van is worth? The van bill is done already. It got solar on top. It got a Max Air fan on top. It got a, 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 a roof rack on top. It got a water tank on top. It got a, a carrier box on top. It got a refrigerator, a stove. Everything already done for you. It got 307,000 miles on it. It recently had a tune-up. Uh, it recently had an oil change. It recently had a new starter in it. Uh, it's a it's a vehicle that's going to get you from A to Z. You still going to have some work and maintenance to do on it. Uh, but if you need something right now, to drive and you don't have no money to just buy what you want this and you don't have no money for a van bill this is a perfect little vehicle for somebody this is a perfect vehicle to retire on a piece of land and airbnb it out let it make you some money rent it for a local weekend trip uh So if y'all interested in my van, send me an email. Shoot me an email, girl, and uh, make me an offer. Make me an offer with everything that's on it. You can't have my clothes, uh, but you, all the curtains, everything left up in here. You can't have the curtains or nothing like that. But... Yeah, uh, but I seen a vehicle and it's nice and I like it. I don't think I could afford it quite yet. But I'm getting I'm getting my finances together, y'all. I don't know when I'll be able to get a vehicle I have in mind that I'd like to get one in June, July, or December. But I'm not really sure. So I'm just going to continue to pray and, and, and trust God. And even if I don't get one this year, even if I don't get one this year and my van still lasting me, I'm, I'm good. Like whenever God makes it, makes it available for me to get a van i'm gonna get one but i'm looking now i'm looking y'all thumbs up the video i'm looking now y'all go on the community post i posted a picture of this van that i seen on the community post go look uh somebody say love that vibrant color fits you perfectly you can always paint it Girl, I wouldn't paint it, maybe. Huh? I wouldn't paint it. Uh, Somebody else say, just popped over while watching your live. Looks like you're considering a used Penske van. I was actually looking at their stock as an option to can't wait to see if you purchase it or not somebody else say i love it i love it i love it somebody else say white van if not possible it is what it is it's a new van no it's not a new van it's used 
is perfect for you, Miss Vanessa, since gold and yellow seems to be your favorite color from what I have observed. Gold and yellow are not my favorite color. Gold and yellow just happen to be the accent colors that I used in my van and my uh, that I used in my van and my camper. I don't have favorite colors. I love all colors. I love vibrant colors. If I had to pick two colors that was my favorite colors, even though I don't have a favorite color, but if I had to pick two colors, if you told me to pick two, I would pick black and white. And if you told me to pick one, I could only pick one color. Why, 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 why would you make me just pick one color? But if you made me pick one color, it would be black or white because I like them both. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, yellow is not my favorite color. Uh, somebody else say auctions are a great way to get what you need. Stay blessed. Y'all stay tuned. I got some more information coming for y'all. I'm getting out here and getting my feet wet and I'm sh showing y'all what's available for y'all to do van life in. I'm I'm a hook I'm a hook some of y'all up. Some of y'all don't know about these deals that's out here in Texas and other places. So I'm a hook y'all up. But yeah, I seen a van today and it's, oh, I had seen a van at a dealership like the van I seen today and they wanted $37,000 for it. $37,000, girl. Mm -mm. You is not getting no $37,000 from me for no used van. Granted, it only had sixty eight thousand miles on it, but I'm, I'm you're not getting you're not getting thirty eight thousand dollars for me for no used van, no ma'am. If I pay thirty eight thousand dollars for something, it's gonna have to be new. Okay, it's gonna have to be new. I can't do it. I can't do it. But yeah, uh. Let me see something. Let me check out. Let me see if I could pick the location. Let me see, do it tell you? Okay, I'm thinking I'm looking at something, y'all. Give me a minute. I'm trying to get some information for y'all. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, y'all. I was just getting some information. Uh, but yeah, I seen this vehicle that I like. I just posted a picture of it on my community post. The yellow would be cool. You could personalize it with some type of cool decals. Yep, that's a good idea. Y'all go check the community post and see the van that I seen. I didn't buy the van yet. I'm not ready to buy a van like right now, right this minute, unless I find a good... Y'all, look at my hair. It then came loose. I got to twist it again, and I got to lock it. Next time I twist it, I have to lock it. Y'all tell me, to y for y'all that got dreads, because y'all gave me a lot of helpful information before, to y'all that got dreads, should I wash my hair and start all over and do it again and lock it at the same time that I'm doing it? Or should I just leave it like this and let the ones lock this lock? Like all this right here, it done came a loose. It done came a loose. So should I wash it and the ones that's locked already just go back and like tighten them up and relock them and just do the ones that have come loose over again but should i wash it or should i lock it without it being washed i i don't know what to do y'all i don't know should i lock it should i wash it and just start over again go sit out at the park and start over again and lock it at the same time that I'm doing it because I think that's what the problem is I didn't lock them at the same time I was doing them I want to lock them y'all so I don't know what to do but I want them to look fresh I think if you lock them when you do it it's fresh if y'all know anybody in Houston that do micro locks let me know if y'all know anybody in Houston that do micro locks, let me know. Um, I want them small. So let me know. But yeah, I'm about to warm me up something to eat, y'all. Let me turn on this light. I got some ground beef. So, yeah, I got a lot of information to pass on to y'all. So, I just got through editing this video. And it was uploading. That's what I was waiting on it to do. Um, export. So, let me upload this video while I'm sitting here, while I'm sitting here talking to y'all.
I had took some shoes out of uh, my shoe box today to show y'all. I have a uh, two pair of burgundy tennis shoes. I got these on today. Two bad pair of burgundy cheap tennis shoes from Fitville that they sent me. Let me turn on my light so I can warm my food up, y'all. I'm hungry. I ate a can, a can of sardines this morning. And I'm doing city van life right now. And if you guys don't know what city van life is, it's when you are living in your van in the city and you go to parks, state parks and regular parks during the day. And then at night, you find a local parking lot to sleep in. So while I'm in the city, that's what I do. I do city van life. I park in parking lots in the city. Yesterday, I ate some graham crackers and some marshmallows with some Nutella. I'll probably do that again tonight. Oh, ooh, what happened to my top? To my laundry detergent. Ooh, I'm glad this didn't tip over. Oh my goodness, I would have a whole mess on my hands. What happened to my top? Ooh, cha. Okay, so I took some ground beef out of the freezer and I thawed it out. Um, let me put some. I'm going to take half of this and put it in the pot. Put the other half in the freezer because it'll get colder in the freezer for later. I can eat this tomorrow. I'm not spending any money on fast food or any food for the next week or two. I haven't decided how long I'm going to do it, but I got food in my van. I got sardines that I bought a while ago. I got sardines. My friend gave me a care package and she gave me some sardines, some salmon, and all of that stuff. So I got a lot of canned goods that I need to eat. My friend gave me some pistachios and some almonds. So I just want to eat the food that I have and since I'm kind of doing like a little fast and a prayer, you can do any kind of fast, y'all. But my fast is pretty much no fast food and just eat what I have and then praying 
and talking to God and then just sitting and chilling and regrouping and decompressing and focusing on things I need to focus on for my life. So, How are y'all doing today? I hope y'all had a blessed and wonderful day today. So, y'all, I'm looking for a van now, even though I'm not ready to buy a van. If I had the money to buy a van right now, probably still would wait because I have to figure out what I'm going to do with my van that I have. Like I can't drive two vans and I don't really have another place to keep the other van unless I take it to Arizona y'all i'm warming up my food live stream is it clear y'all leave a comment dm me on instagram let me know if it's uh if y'all can see me i'm warming up the food i just pressed the wrong button somebody dm me on instagram and let me know if i'm coming in clear and if y'all can see me i want a cold bottle of water I had bought some licorice from the dollar store the other day. I used to love licorice when I was a little girl. And I used to love black, black licorice. But it don't taste. It don't really taste. like it used to taste. I need to sit my thing outside and sit outside. It's hot. It is hot. Go outside. <clears throat> it's 
cool outside. Sitting right here is just a little cooler. Oh yeah, the wind is blowing. my tripod up a little bit. Whew. Yes, it feel good. So let me get my food and my drink. doing city van life y'all yes i'm living in the city living in my van get y'all some ice cold water father god we thank you for the school we're about to receive your blessings your kindness your mercy your grace all the provisions you made on my life lord jesus everything you've done everything you're about to do in jesus name amen
I'm eating, smacking, and chewing. If you don't like it, come back. 10, 15 minutes. I probably got too much food in here. I'm probably not gonna eat it all. I haven't been really, really, really hungry. Like in the summertime, when it get warmer, my appetite, my appetite fluctuates. Sometimes I could eat a lot. And sometimes as soon as I get through eating, I be hungry again. And then sometimes I don't eat that much. I think in the summertime, my appetite changes a little bit in the summertime.
I thought I wasn't going to eat it all. I just had to come outside and eat. Because it was hot in that van after I turned that stove on. When you're in the city and you got everything at your fingertips, all the fast food places, all the places that I love, Papa's Barbecue, James Coney Island, KFC, Costco. <laughs> I can go get some of that Costco chicken, some of that Costco hot dog, some of that Costco ice cream. I can go to Burger King and get me a icy girl. When you in the city, it's harder to resist. I got willpower though. I got willpower. feel good out here. Now I'm cold. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now I am cold. Let me go pull this oil out. I threw that other bag of stuff away. These are some socks I'm gonna throw away.
Okay, let me see. Let me see if there's anything else I want to talk to y'all about. This thing. Let me see. How do I? How do I? Okay. Just this thing. Okay. Oh, that's how I do it. Let me see if there's anything else I want to talk to y'all about. Start looking for a van long before you want it. You can start looking for a van a year in advance that way you, you could try to find places that sell reliable vans like the longer you look for a van the more practice you're gonna get the more you're gonna know what you're looking for the more you're gonna know what you want and the better deal even if you got the money right now do not let that money burn a hole in your pocket Do not let that money burn a hole in your pocket. Even if you got the money right now, look until you find what you're looking for. Don't settle, y'all. Don't be in a rush and don't settle. That's one thing I like about buying a van, looking for a van when you don't have no money. Looking for a van when you don't have no money because you're going you gonna to learn. You're going to get the information that you need to get. You're going to search high and low. And if you got the money and you know how to wait, like right now, I got some money. But I don't have what I would like to have in order to buy the vehicle that I want. I got some money. But I don't have the amount of money that I would like to have to buy a nicer van. I, w I definitely want something that I could stand up in. Like, that's a must-have. I definitely want something I could stand up in. If I get a box truck, uh, I can get a box truck for cheaper. But... It's harder to insure a box truck, but not maybe in another state. It's harder to insure a box truck. In Texas, it's not that hard because it's a, you know, because I've had a box truck before and I had it insured before. And I think my insurance for liability was like $70 or something like that. But, yeah, uh, if I get a van that I could stand up in, or I could get a box truck, if I get a box truck, whoo, it's going to be box truck versus van, baby. Box truck versus van. I might do a video do y'all want me to do a video box truck versus van a box truck you're gonna have a lot of room in that truck uh you're gonna be able to stand up you're gonna have a lot of room uh a box truck depending on what size you you uh get it's gone It could take up uh, a lot of space, depending on what size you get. But we'll see. I don't know what I'm going to end up with, y'all. I really, really, really don't know. The box truck would be cheaper and more room you could do that Ugh. i could stand up in a box truck i could do some cartwheels in a box truck i don't want one of them big box trucks though 
like a 15 footer I think a 10 footer is good enough for me but y'all stay tuned because I got some videos coming y'all thumbs up the video I got some videos coming I'm looking I'm looking for a vehicle um, I'm looking for a vehicle some people was telling me to do a GoFundMe. I don't know if I should do a GoFundMe. Y'all let me know in the comments if y'all think I should do a GoFundMe for my next vehicle. And uh, I know I'm a, when I get my next vehicle, I'm going to have a housewarming party for my next vehicle so I can get the stuff that I need to decorate. I don't know which way I'm going to decorate. I'm going to be accepting gift cards from Home Depot so I can go get me some wood. Uh, and yes, we're going to do a van bill on the next vehicle. Y'all let me know in the comments if y'all want to see me with a van that I can stand up in or a box truck. Which one would y'all rather see me convert next? a box truck or a van i'm gonna do both eventually eventually i'm gonna convert a box truck and eventually i'm gonna convert a van i might convert the box truck turn around and sell it and give me a van i might start flipping uh, flipping vehicles. I might start flipping them. Build them out and flip them. That's what I might do. Build them out and flip them. Interesting. That's an interesting, mm -hmm. interesting thought. But let me know in the, in the comments bar below, would y'all like to see me build out a van next or build out a box truck next? Let me know. Uh, so anyway, y'all, that's going to be it for me today. I think I'm about to watch some Netflix. I... I'm going to go to my next campsite later tonight. And for now, I'm just going to sit out and watch a Netflix movie. Watch my Netflix series, This Is Us. I got to a part last night. I'm not understanding. the. It's a lady... And she's in the military and she's fighting a war. I don't know who that lady is. Like, who is these people? It's some people they showing right now and I have no idea who the people are. So I don't know what's, what in the donkey cone is going on. So last night I just stopped it there. I was like, oh, I'll watch this later because I don't even know what's going on. I don't even know who these people are. I'm trying to figure out who are the people. I don't even know who they are. So, I am about to go. Thank y'all for watching. And let me know in the comments. Go to my community post. Let me see if anybody else left any comments on the community post. So, I can read your comment. Somebody says, it looks nice, Miss Vanessa. You deserve it, girl, if I could afford it. Somebody else say it looks awesome. Somebody else said, Miss Vanessa, this yellow van suits you and it will match your yellow and gold jacket. What yellow and gold jacket I got? I got a yellow and gold jacket? I got a jacket that's yellow and gold? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> 
Um, Miss Amy says she liked the ASMR. I've been posting van life ASMR, y'all. Let me know if y'all like it. Uh, Miss Cindy say, hey, Vanessa, that van looks like you and you can stand up. Girl, yes, I can stand up, girl. Yes, that's the next vehicle going to have to be something to stand up in, girl. That's going to be a blessing. I can stand up and cook. Miss Black Zillion say, yes, Miss Vanessa, to God be the glory. Y'all, I didn't get it yet. I just went looking. I'm making a video showing y'all. I'm teaching y'all how to go find vehicles. I didn't get it yet, y'all. I'm not ready for a van yet. I don't have the money yet. Like I say, I want a van between ten and twenty-five thousand uh, dollars. I could probably get it financed, but I really don't want a car note. So if I if I got it financed, I could get it right now. But I really don't want no car note. So, ugh, that's the problem. The problem is, not having a car note. I don't want a car note. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. No car note. Okay, let me see. I'm waiting on this video to upload. And it looked like it looked like it's gonna take a lot to upload. But anyway, I'm gonna let y'all leave some comments on the video. I'll be talking to y'all in the comments. I'm about to go watch my Netflix movie and I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye now. If I feel like talking, I might go back live on Vanessa VIPB. So y'all stay tuned and I might go back live over there on Vanessa VIPB. So good night for now. Bye.